Go. Go ride. Farther. Faster. Go wild. Doesn't matter. As long as you. Go. Ride together into that wild world. Chase those quiet moments that are anything but quiet. Go. Just go. Leave no mile unturned. And leave a trail of stories in your wake. It's time now to go. Ride forth. Roll the life into it. That's when the world will tremble and bend like the curve on the road as you go. Go now, because the roads you don't take are the only ones that will haunt you when you're going, going, gone. Welcome to HD 2021. I am Jason Momo. What's up, everybody? I love this brand with all my heart and I love what it represents and it has been a big year and it's going to be a lot of cool things coming out and HD is bringing it. All right. Personally, I'm very excited to see what the 2021 bikes are. So without further ado, here's our Harley CEO, Jochen Zeitz. Mahalo. Jason, thank you for that introduction and thank you for being part of our Harley family. Hi everyone and welcome to the Harley Davidson Museum in Milwaukee for our very first global launch event, Harley-Davidson 2021. Last year was a tough year for everyone, but I'm hoping we are now at the beginning of brighter times ahead. One of the things that 2020 did was to give me the opportunity to think about why I love riding. At every opportunity, I wanted to get out on the road and experience that freedom unique to riding my Harley. And I imagine many of you felt this way too. Despite the pandemic, the team at Harley were able to come together and focus on what is truly important to our riders and to our community. And that's why we're all here. Today is about now. It's about 2021 and it's about what excites every one of us. Our unique and shared passion for the Harley Davidson experience. I want you all to leave today's event knowing that Harley Davidson is here for you. We've been listening. And we've worked hard to prioritize the things that matter to you so that a hundred years from now, we will still be delivering the timeless pursuit of adventure and freedom for the soul for you and fellow riders around the world. I got into riding bikes when I was 16 and I've been seeking that sense of adventure and freedom ever since. I love touring the wide open roads of the American West and I just returned from exploring Kenya on our next iconic touring bike, which I'll talk more about later. Adventure is part of my DNA and for me, Harley is the ultimate expression of that. In moments, we'll debut our new 2021 bikes and all the glory of the American spirit and craftsmanship that we are all tremendously proud of. So let's get started with this adventure. You expect the absolute best paint and finishes from Harley Davidson. A new for this year, we'll offer limited edition paint sets under the Enthusiast Collection a name which has been part of our heritage for over 100 years. This is a brand and company that has come alive this year. So much that I can't even share everything with you today. I know you're all familiar with CVO, but in 2021, we're thinking even bigger. This year, we launch an iconic new collection marrying the best of Harley Davidson innovation, evolution and emotion. These models will redefine desirability and exclusivity. I'm so excited to share more with you but that story isn't for today. But today is about more than just bikes. Like I said earlier, we are focused on what's important to you. In 2021, Harley Davidson will deliver new product partnerships and incredible solutions and upgrades in the form of parts and accessories for the entire line. In just a few moments, you will experience our new motorcycles, including our CVOs, the specials, and both the Fat Boy and Street Bob from a perspective you're familiar with the rider's perspective. And with that, 
let's begin our journey. The Harley has brought myself and my son to another connection. I mean, we're connected and we, we do everything together. But now we can actually leave what we do in everyday life. When we get on our bikes and hit the open road and go to new places and new journeys. We get to feel the weather changing, go high in elevation, low in elevation, be able to have our minds to ourselves for a couple hours. You teach your kids and you get out, you adventure, live life to the fullest. I'm a highwayman, going to new places and finding things and, and just loving it. It's the American tradition, the iron, the metal, the thunder, the old west. Cold out here. I know it's cold, man. Just suck it up. We're almost there. Just think about where we are. I'd rather be here than anywhere else. <laughs> from open roads, highways, trees, desert. Each mile you add on, it's look at that, look at that. It's just, it's an adventure every second. Rain, shine, snow. He doesn't wait till it warms up. He keeps riding. On the Harley, it almost like you have to go. It's calling you to go. You get on the bike, you feel the power, and you feel the air, and you're gone, and you might not come back for a while. To me, that's the spirit of Harley. Hitting the road and just feeling it. Doesn't fit me though. Yeah, it does. If you have any sense of adventure in your heart and soul, get on the open road and find it. You're gonna find your freedom. I've been in my helmet, I can't tell you how many times, smiling and actually laughing out loud, enjoying what's going on around me. You do feel it, it does enter you, it takes over your whole spirit. You just kinda wanna go, yes! Welcome Harley-Davidson riders, dealers, investors, and enthusiasts. My name is Brad Richards and I'm the Vice President of Styling and Design here at the Harley-Davidson Motor Company. I am so stoked for you all being here today as we have a ton of great info and products that we're finally able to announce to the world. So to kick things off, I'd like to start by introducing our flagship lineup, the CVO portfolio of motorcycles. We created the CVO family back in 1999 as we knew we had customers who were looking for the most premium Harley-Davidson experience right off the factory line. From the very beginning of the CVO program, we knew we needed some key things for this program to be successful, including custom content, custom paint, artisanal execution of detailing. We wanna make sure that every CVO customer feels like they have a one-off Harley-Davidson motorcycle in their garage. We approach the design of every CVO motorcycle with one strategy in mind, and we call it the first, second, and third read. The first read occurs when a customer or a potential customer might see a motorcycle or a CVO motorcycle on the street from say 200, 300 feet away going by you, and you're attracted to either the color or the shape of the motorcycle, and that's the first read. The second read is once that potential customer comes to a dealership or explores online and sees an image of the motorcycle, they might see the graphic that's on the tank or the shape of the wheel or the shape of the, the graphic on the fairing. And that's the second read, and that draws you in even closer to the motorcycle. The third read may not even happen until the customer actually gets the motorcycle home. You're washing the bike or detailing it. You notice that third little detail. Maybe it's a bit of branding. Maybe it's the right color and finish choice on a part that you didn't even realize that we had paid attention to. Or maybe it's just a, a beautiful proportion or shape that we've created with one of the bits of content. But that's the third read. You don't really see that until you're very up and close and personal with the motorcycle. So in some ways, a CVO product is constantly revealing itself to you. And it's that premium experience that our customers have come to know and love. The CVO portfolio has evolved a long way since 1999. We continue to offer the most custom paint, custom details, most artisanal execution of design for each of our CVO products but now we have multiple offerings for each of the models, offering even more exclusivity. Today, the CVO lineup has become one of our most popular families of motorcycles, thanks to you. The kind of rider that wants to stand out, make a dramatic statement, and experience the pinnacle of Harley-Davidson motorcycle engineering, 
and design. To take a deeper dive into what the Model Year 21 CVO lineup has to offer, I'd like to introduce to you two of Harley-Davidson's CVO experts, Eric Buckhaus and Paul James. Thanks again for joining us today, and I hope you're as psyched about these new products as we are to share them with you. Thanks, Brad. I'm Paul James, and I have the pleasure of getting our new motorcycles to journalists from around the world so they can review our bikes. Now, I've been with Harley-Davidson for 22 years, and I've been riding motorcycles for nearly 40 years, on road, off road, on racetracks, and on back roads across North America and Europe. A couple bikes in the garage right now include my 2020 Rogue Light Limited and my favorite 2009 XR1200. And I'm Eric Buckhaus. I'm a Harley-Davidson CVO product development engineer, and I have been for over 20 years, pretty much since CVO started. I bought my first bike in 1999, a CVO FXR3, one of the very first CVO models, and I still have it today. That is a cool bike. CVOs are special motorcycles. From the inception of CVO or custom vehicle operations, that concept was introduced in 1999 with the FXR2. And I've been a fan of the idea of factory customization and giving riders more of what they want. You're exactly right, Paul. That is one of the things I have loved about developing our CVO bikes. Well, Eric, it's our favorite time of year. It's the time to show off the new iron. I love introducing new model motorcycles and CVOs are the ultimate. We have another great lineup this year of four CVO models and we're excited to show the world what we've been working on while working from home. Since the beginning, CVO's mantra is this, big motor, big paint, and big wheels. And this year, we deliver again with the Milwaukee 8 117. This is the highest displacement and power to ever roll out of our factory. And if you want more, Parts and Accessories has plenty of kits to keep it going. Yeah, the Milwaukee 8 117 has got on-demand torque and plenty of it. That's great to have that kind of power when you want to hard hit off a stoplight or you need to make a pass on a back road with passenger and luggage, or you just plain want to put a smile on your face. These CVO models also deliver big paint, big wheels, industry-leading finishes, technology, craftsmanship, and attention to detail, or more accurately, the obsession to detail. Now let's start with the CVO Rogue Glide. This is an unrivaled custom bagger that handles as good as it looks. You're not the only one that thinks so. The CVO Rogue Glide is back in the lineup due to popular demand. Fresh this year are the all new cast lace wheels with a cast outer rim for added style and TPMS is also integrated. This design took a couple of years to develop but it was well worth the wait. They look awesome. And to get more into the finer details or the third read that Brad talked about, all the models have all new CVO badging on the console, the speedometer, the brake calipers, the radio splash screen, and even on the storage cover. Now new in the CVO Road Glide is the Harley-Davidson Audio by Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 sound system. High-end audio in a motorcycle is something you really have to hear and feel to appreciate. And it's amazing how having a soundtrack to go with the epic scenery enhances the trip. But now amp that up with this new Rockford Fosgate system. It's like having a concert experience with every ride. I did spend a lot of time evaluating our new sound system, and I didn't think we could get better than what we had, but we did. The sound quality and new features absolutely set a new standard. Now the CVO Street Glide is a showstopper. It's a custom bagger with the iconic Harley-Davidson batwing fairing and a long low profile. You're going to see and be seen on the Street Glide. And with the new Harley-Davidson audio by Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 sound system, you're going to hear and be heard. It was challenging to improve this year's CVO Street Glide, but we have. We're introducing new paint and finishes this year. The bronze armor with the matching smoke satin chrome on so many different parts makes this bike look like it was dipped in bronze. Yeah, the CVO Street Glide looks awesome, Eric. The styling first and foremost, the paint options are fantastic, and of course it has all the great ergos and stance of a Street Glide. And you found a way to make the sound system even better. Now the CVO Limited is the ultimate ride for long range touring. And I've done a couple of iron butt rides, both over a thousand miles in less than 24 hours, and that was painful. It would have been a much different experience on this bike. 
The CVO Limited delivers the absolute best in comfort from the riding position and the wind protection to the ultimate seat comfort. I agree 100%. This CVO Limited provides unparalleled comfort and convenience features everyone would want on a premium touring motorcycle. And new this year are two paint and finish schemes that I really love. One with bright chrome and the other the same bronze look as the Street Glide. And finally, the CVO Tri-Glide. It's everything you need for an unrivaled trike touring experience that's packed with power and bold style like you'll see on the charred crimson with complimentary dark finishes scheme. Once you experience it, it's the only three-wheel touring bike you'll ever ride. Well, for sure, the CVO Tri-Glide has style and comfort, and it's also got the power of the Milwaukee 8117. Now at the press launch for this bike, I gotta tell you, I loved it when we introduced it to Global Media and they were new to riding trikes and they just didn't even know what to expect. When they saw it in person, their jaws just dropped. And then when they rode it and felt the power, it was eye-opening. It's all the goodness of CVO wrapped up in the ultimate three-wheeled experience. And it's something only Harley Davidson can deliver. So these are motorcycles designed and developed by riders and for riders, created to be the best handcrafted and limited, and made for those riders who want it all. They really are, Paul. CVOs are the complete package. We listen to our customers. We learn what they want and need. Then we try to deliver more of it and beyond with leading technology like the Road Glide cast lace combo wheel. My team engineers CVO to over deliver, and that's just what they do. Well, thanks to you and your team, Eric. I have had the pleasure of riding a lot of motorcycles and some bikes just make you feel something more. It's a culmination of things that's greater than the sum of the parts. It's hard to explain, but for CVOs, it's the combination of the feel of the components, the depth and the richness of the finishes, the power, the sound. It's all these elements and more and how they wrap you up in the ride and how you soak in them, especially in those long rides, make CVOs really special bikes. Both Rockford Fosgate and Harley Davidson embody history, heritage, and legendary performance. And these two teams came together to push the limits of what's possible for motorcycle audio we created what we believe is the highest performing, most advanced audio system riders have ever experienced. Harley Davidson knew Rockford Fosgate was one of the industry leaders in high performance audio, and that they were absolutely as passionate about audio as we are about motorcycles. Rockford Fosgate's attention to detail, their deep bench of audio design capability, and their amplifier and loudspeaker collaboration is second to none. So together, we had no doubts that this partnership was going to allow us to take the motorcycle audio to the next level. The brand new Harley Davidson Audio, powered by Rockford Fosgate. We can't wait for you to hear what you're missing. Listen, when you're in the city, man, you have noise, you have light, you have all these different distractions. It's all coming at you with all these different angles. It beats you up. And you need some sort of escape to keep going in that environment. I've worked in so many creative fields, art direction, graphic design, clothing design. I have so many different things that I'm doing. I have so many different ideas that I want to bring to life. When I'm out there, I'm being inspired and I'm creating a new story for myself. When I don't ride for a long time, I feel like something's missing. And when I get on the bike, something clicks in me, I come back with a different enthusiasm and I have more ideas as well. Coming from the sport bike world, we kind of like judge Harleys, you know what I'm saying? Based on like what they look like and the people who are riding them. And I was that person. I just didn't know what that world was like. Everything that I'm doing on the bike, I'm like the most alive during those moments, and I'm seeing it from the outside. 
That's like action for me. Like I'm, I'm starring in my own movie. You know, you harness this machine and, and navigate through this concrete jungle. Like that's real energy right there. That's power. That to me is just like poetry in motion. Hello, my name is Paul Weiss and I'm a technical lead for Harley-Davidson Motor Company. I've been riding for three decades now. I started from the moment I turned 16. I actually put on about 18,000 miles on the street each year. I just picked up my 15th street glide. I'm Jillian Dretzka, I'm a test engineer here at Harley. My story's a little different than yours. My dad bought me my first dirt bike at four and I grew up racing motocross. When I started riding street bikes, I fell in love with what Harley-Davidson represented to me. Freedom, passion, excitement, and that rebellious spirit. I'm excited to be here today to introduce our new special models that continue to push factory custom to the next level. Let's get a look at the 2021 Street Glide, Road Glide, and Road King specials. These powerful modern custom baggers are classically designed with a timeless style. Now for me, with the models I put on, a bagger's a no-brainer. I really enjoy the practical side of a touring vehicle with the added wind protection, the luggage, more comfortable seat, and a very nice suspension. And I always upgrade with the rider safety enhancement option. These bikes are truly an artful balance between form and function. For the first time, the Street Glide Special and Road Glide Special are also available in chrome finish, as well as the previous offered blacked out finishes. Adventure starts with the 2021 Street Glide Special, and it starts with a roar and a rumble of the legendary Milwaukee 8 114 V-twin engine. Then turn up the cranking sound system to provide that perfect harmony. If I were to jump on one of these bikes right now, Paul, I would head out to Sturgis. It's always been on my bucket list, and this seems like the perfect bike to ride there and show off. Totally, Sturgis is the five gallon of bucket lists. When you look at the riding out there, it's just phenomenal from Custer to Needles to Nemo Canyon, Van Acker, Spearfish Canyon, crossover to Devil's Tower. Amazing, epic rides out there. And speaking of bikes to get lost in that ride, let's look at the Road Glide Special. The 2021 Road Glide Special is the kind of motorcycle you want to take a nice long look at and an even longer ride on. The iconic touring design with a two-tone paint option the shark nose fixed fairing. This thing is a classic by the time you hit second gear. What impresses me most as a test engineer is the 114 powertrain. That throaty rumble, smooth and responsive delivery really packs the power. This powertrain must feel even better on the lighter Road King Special. Yeah, it sure does. The 21 Road King Special is loaded with power and attitude. This custom bagger commands a presence wherever you go. Working front to back with the slam front fender, the blacked out nacelle, the taller bars, transitioning to the bags, this Road King drips in that classic profile of a Harley Davidson. And yet the design of the bike is agile and easy to handle. If you're the type of rider that likes to grip it and rip it, this is your steed. As I said earlier, we don't take specials lightly here at Harley. I promise you, there is no better way to explore the world than on the Street Glide, Road Glide, and Road King specials. Color is really powerful because it triggers an emotion. It triggers a memory for somebody. We have to be very thoughtful about our development of color because it, it can be something that's so personal. Color became a really important part of the design story for Harley-Davidson in the mid to late 20s. And then from that point on, color just exploded at the company. It transformed into self-expression and a culture. Our 2021 palette is exciting. This year for our inspiration, we developed color stories. Dark Opulence is a really dark, moody color palette. It's deep, rich jewel tones, like our crimson. Also a slightly desaturated green, and you can see that in our palette with Deadwood Green. Shifting Chroma is a little more about effect and finish than it is actually about color. We've got a color called Snake Venom. So it's a new color shift for us, and it shifts from this beautiful emerald green to a purple. 
If you're gonna talk color and finish and graphics, you gotta start with CBO. You get this wide selection of choice. Any CBO customer, in terms of taste, can find something that they are gonna love in that lineup. We've got this amazing palette that we're rolling out for model year 21, and we're going to continue to develop and innovate and bring something new and exciting to the consumer. I don't see myself as a female rider. I see myself as a rider. I am a motorcyclist. I'm just living my life the way I want for me. I know if I'm happy, if I'm fulfilled, if I have this time to reset, I can be the best wife, the best mother, the best friend, the best entrepreneur, the best me. For me, a motorcycle isn't just a way to commute, it's my way of exploring the roads less traveled. The desert is always my favorite place to ride. To some, it's miles of nothing, but to us, it's miles of everything. It's just complete solitude, so you really have time to think. Silence. Coming out of that fog after I had my daughter, it was just like, what can I do to feel like myself? What is the first thing I want to do when I have some time? I was ride my Harley. And the adrenaline rush, the feel of it, it all came back to me. My old self did. We're meant to wander and wander. There's no better way to do that than riding a Harley. If you truly love to do something, you gotta go do it, no matter what. Because I want my daughter to live a life like that. My destination has always been coming back home. And coming out here, being alone, brings me closer to being home, to being present in my life. So this is part of the journey to get back to me. Hi everyone, I'm Narissa Cerny. I'm a systems engineer at Harley-Davidson. I'm also a founder of an all-female motorcycle build team called the Iron Angels. This team is part of the Build Moto program, which teaches high school students mechanical and business skills. My riding journey started about eight years ago with the basic riders course. Hey Harley family, my name is Yomi Famuyiwa. I'm a design engineer in the Red X problem solving team at Harley-Davidson. I started riding about six years ago in graduate school. Since starting at Harley-Davidson, I've been lucky enough to ride nearly all of the current models. I bought a Rogue Glide Special in that beautiful Wicked Red denim as well. My love for riding grew with the ability to just hop on and take an adventure whenever I have that craving. I love the bare bones nature of the Street Bob. There's no fairings, no speakers, or bells and whistles. It's a perfect bike for that solo rider looking for that classic Harley look, and the performance of the refined Milwaukee 8 engine, with comfortable Mini A handlebars. The Street Bob 114 has enough attitude and performance out of the box that experienced riders will love it, but it's also easy riding and completely manageable for someone new to the big twin bikes. Personally, I'm stoked to introduce this bike for two reasons. First, there are pieces on this bike that I actually helped design, so it's pretty exciting to see some of my work go into production. But secondly, I can totally imagine some of my friends owning this bike, customizing it to their personalities, and having some really memorable journeys on it. So just thinking of that makes me feel really excited about it. It's amazing how much straight ahead, raw bobber attitude you can pack into a bike that's one of our lightest weight soft tails. As with all HD products, the fit and finishes are top of the line. With sweet new tank graphics and a Milwaukee 8 114 engine, the Street Bob makes an impressive entrance, announcing its presence from well down the road to give people plenty of time to step back and get a good long look as you roll by. As a design engineer, I appreciate the instrument gauge is being integrated into the handlebar. We call this a digital rider gauge. This provides a clean look for the handlebar from all views of the motorcycle. The instrument being digital makes it easier for the rider to have a quick glance down, check out their speed or their gas, and look up to enjoy their ride and the scenery around them. The Street Bob is one of only two bikes to have this feature in the soft tail lineup, so it makes it that much more special. 
As a rider, I appreciate the riding position with mid controls and mini ape handlebars. The open position allows you to take in all of the wind and the environment on your chest and your legs and your arms to connect you further with the environment through your one-of-a-kind Harley Davidson. Just talking about this makes me want to hop on the bike right now. Do you want to you go or I what mean, do you think? We... No? <laughs> afterwards. Next, Maybe afterwards. later. Okay. <laughs> Since this bike is highly customizable, this bike can be set up with a small fairing and saddlebags for a great weekend adventure. This year, the performance upgrades are at a whole new level. And these upgrades really take that acceleration and drivability to the next level. That's what this bike is all about. This multi-purpose bike can fulfill all my reasons for riding with a few small adjustments or no adjustments at all. That's why I love the Street Bob 114 and I know customers will too. There's a perception that fashion is, a, is, is this really glitzy, fun thing. Really, it's a, it's a work and a passion that people have for, for creating apparel. There's a science to it and there's, a, there's an art to it. And that creativity to, to be inspired and try a new type of product that we haven't done before, a new style, a new fabric, introducing a new logo. We're always trying new ideas and you have to try those things and, and be creative and innovative. We have this rich legacy that's authentic. Our connection to that heritage is gonna show up in a more powerful way this year in our product and our, in our branding. That's uh, something that a lot of our consumers are really excited about and I know our team is. As a designer, the excitement working for Harley is the heritage of the brand and that we can bring that into the apparel. We also wanna make sure that we're current and that we're looking at new innovations and that the product is right for the customer cultural trends in, in music, art, fashion. Those are things that inspire our designers and, and product teams. When starting a line each season, I think like as a designer, we're like constantly looking, so I don't think we ever switch off. There's always things that are influencing or, or ideas that we're taking some reference from. You know, there's, there's color that around us all the times and there's trends and things in the market that subconsciously we're all absorbing. And even if we're not aware of it, that that color is the color of the season. It's a very personal journey when, uh, when you're shopping and thinking about clothes for yourself or purchasing for others. We're using kind of our, our instincts to say, this feels right. We think our customer's gonna love it, let's try it. People have the idea that La Dolce Vita is something Italian and it means the sweet life. But living a good life, you can live it anywhere. If you're fortunate enough to do the things that you love, surrounded by good friends and family, you have it anywhere. So maybe 10 years ago, I'd taken a pause from riding and I was going through a phase in my work life that was very stressful. I started riding again and I got on a bike on some difficult terrain where I had to pay attention and I rode for the whole day. And at the end of that day, I realized that for the first time in a long time, I didn't think about work, I wasn't stressed and that made me go back to bikes. The bike, it's confident, powerful, maybe sometimes a little arrogant. I saw all these movies when I was a kid, all these American films, and I captured all these frames in my head, and a lot of those frames have become reality. It's part of the American heritage, and it's part of the American dream. You want to interact with it. You want to be a part of it. You want to be in the movie. There's something beautiful in that. I'm very grateful about the life that I have here in America. So for me, La Dolce Vita is right here, right now. Hello everyone, I'm Bill Davidson, great-grandson of one of the original founders, William A. Davidson. 
And I'm Karen Davidson, great-granddaughter of William A. Davidson. Back in 1990, Harley Davidson introduced a new motorcycle that really surprised the world. That motorcycle was the 1990 Fat Boy. It had a presence. It had a dominance. It was fat. And it was an awesome motorcycle. And let's talk about the original style points. Its signature solid wheels established the theme fat. And as Willie G, our dad, has stated, our motorcycles have always had a substantial and massive visual presence. With the wheels identifying the bike, following is a headlamp and upper fork mass. All of the pieces have to work in concert with one another. Proportion is key. And with the Fat Boy, the design has become one of our most iconic in history. Let's take a quick walk through this beautiful bike for 2021, the new Fat Boy. One of the things that you're gonna see is that this bike is brighter, it's wider, it's bigger, it has a greater dominance. And that brightness is due to the chroming that we did throughout the motorcycle. And this was a desire we were hearing from the marketplace. So we brought that answer by chroming out the bike. Starting with the front end, this massive front wheel and tire combination, 160 millimeter wide front tire with a chopped fender to expose that beautiful tire a little bit more. These chrome cover upper fork tubes, this beautiful headlight nacelle that's chromed out, the risers. And I love this piece because from a rider's perspective, you're looking down at this and all you see is attention to detail. This beautiful tank console with the bullet holes in the bottom portion of the tank console. You're sitting on top of an awesome 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 V-Twin. The ventilator cover on the air cleaner, the chrome covers on the engine, the two into two exhaust is now all chromed out. Working towards the back of the bike, these chromed out fender struts with a chopped rear fender to expose that massive 240 millimeter wide back tire. You know, this bike, when you stand back and you take a look at it from front to back, you do say, wow, what a stunning motorcycle. So a huge thank you for joining us today. I promise you there's more adventure ahead. As I mentioned earlier, I just got back from testing our Pan America motorcycle in the rugged landscape of Kenya. And all I can tell you today is that the bike is incredible. We are reinventing adventure touring and I'm very excited about it. Jason Momoa has captured the energy of this new Harley Davidson experience masterfully. And so I'd like to close with a preview of his film and remind you all that on February 22nd, Jason and I will be revealing Pan America and all the details you've been waiting for. If you haven't registered for the global event, be sure to visit h-d.com slash panamerica. Thank you for spending time with us today and we'll see you on your next Harley adventure. For me, riding is organic. I mean, you you really do become one with the bike. It feels like a partnership. You're, you're doing something together, you know, connected to the ground, weaving, pushing through turns. It's just that moment in time where I'm completely left alone. Once you're on your bike, nothing matters. You could just disappear into your thoughts. You can just let your mind go. All your senses just kind of come alive when you're riding a motorcycle. This country, it's got some of the most beautiful places. And if you're not riding a bike through them, you are missing something. I saw a lot of beautiful machinery at Sturgis in the Black Hills. Sturgis has some of North America's most iconic riding. I mean, it really is a special trip to make and everyone as a biker should do it. 
The motorcycle is a bridge for individuals and groups to meet each other to have camaraderie. The rocket, James Rispoli taking the win. I ride for the joy, for the, the competitiveness. I ride because it's just something badass to do. 